Greetings, minions, AIs, or aliens. And fellow gamers, this is Silverblade playing Defense Grid The Awakening. Uh, this is episode 3 because this is level 3 uh, called Ancient Research. And uh, I hope you've seen my previous episodes, but if you haven't, this is a tower defense game and it's been around for many years it's a very cool game has a lot of options different play styles uh, different challenges to it and um, I really enjoyed it my niece really enjoyed it I enjoyed playing the game with her and and experiencing it with her and uh, it doesn't matter how old or how new your computer is you're pretty damn sure gonna be able to to play this game on it so you don't have to have the highest end graphics card to be able to play this uh... it's a game anybody can play and it right now it's actually pretty cheap i'm not trying to plug anything for steam or anything but it is on sale right now it is pretty damn cheap it's how i got it i got it for both this game all the expansions and defense grid two for just over eight bucks so if you're on a tight budget like i am um, it might be a game that you'll enjoy a lot, and it's very, very cheap, easy on the budget. So enough of my mouth-breathing, bibble-babble, jaw-flapping, and tongue-wagging. Let's get to the third level. I think I remember this place. This is the research facility where... where I was uploaded. My, My body, body is, is somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> ah, well, there's more to be left there of most people my age, I suppose. Now then, you've some new tricks to learn. We are now able to upgrade the towers we build. Yay! Increase firepower, range, that sort of thing. You'll get the hang of it. So we'll build gun towers. Gun towers there, there, inferno tower, and a gun tower there. Just to start. So we'll fast forward the game a little bit. And we'll slow it down. I don't have the nice thing about this is I don't have to use the fast forward in the video editing to do this. <laughs> so get those guys cruising, get them in the gun range, and rip them up. Burn, baby, burn! Now, every time you upgrade, it doubles the cost of the tower. So, if it's a hundred resources for a gun tower, it's two hundred for the next level upgrade up. So, keep that in mind. Now also we'll have a chance to shape the path by building on these blocks. You can build here, here, and here, and make them walk around it. Or build here, 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 and here to have more guns to put more damage on the targets. That's up to you. Let's clean this place up. Awesome. Late to the party there, buddy. Oh. All right. 
so we'll put a gun tower here. Let's mop these up. Speed it up just a little bit. There we go. He died because he's burning. So let's put a. Actually, let's put a laser tower here. There we go. Looks like the eye is so on. To shape the enemy's path by placing towers. Do so. And you see, they came up around here. If you block this all off, they'll just walk between the towers. So you kind of want to make them go the long way around or a way that gets them um, introduced to pain and a lot of it. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a laser tower here. Now there is line of sight issues in the game, so this laser tower can't shoot through these towers to get to a target. So when you go to set them out, keep that in mind. Put a inferno here. So yeah, line of sight does affect uh, you know where you're shooting and all that. Drop a laser tower there. Get our calls back. We need to eliminate that. Swarmers, these guys are gonna get chewed up really quick. And those guys are about dead. Barbecue. <laughs> So we'll upgrade this. This costs 300. And you see it goes from green to yellow. A core regained. We'll take it. Second here. 
Okay, I'll show you real quickly. The range doesn't increase, but the damage does. And it has a wider fan of flame. Uh, these have better attack, uh, slightly, uh, double the attack, or triple the attack, rather. Maybe even quadruple, and just a little bit more range to them. And I think we'll get these upgraded. There we go. We're going to have a real tough alien coming in just a minute. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll see the green ones are the easy ones. Yellow are slightly tougher. The red ones are like kind of like the bosses. So let's, uh, let's see, we'll upgrade these. Hopefully we'll get them up, back up in time. Hang on. I haven't seen these before. Crasher. A lot of health. They're boss aliens. Backwards They're slow. They're slow but very tough, but they take three cores if they take them. But the nice thing about being slow is they're in front of the uh, the weapons fire a lot longer. Those other guys got fried and are gone. The big mofo.
So he's going to be dead in just a little bit here. We'll upgrade that. Yep, there we go. So now we can upgrade this and not quite this. And this has got an extended attack. Uh, slightly better range. There we go. Goodness. Crafty buggers. <laughs> uh oh, we might be in trouble here, guys. Damn it, damn it, son of a bitch. Burn him. Oh no. This is horrible. Alright, so we're gonna go back and try to do this better.
Maybe that was the wrong choice at the wrong time. Or not, who knows. We might actually pull this off. <laughs> All right, damn. Yeah, I I don't like to go backwards to a, the previous checkpoint, but we sometimes you kind of have to. And since I haven't played this in a while, I do get a little bit rusty on on how I did original setups in the past. And that worked out really well, and yeah. We'll jack these up while we're... well, can't do that one. Now we got two of the big bosses. Alright, got that one. Get that one too. And I got these two down here coming. At this point, we want to try to build as much interest as we can for our resources, not because we need to build anything, but to try to build up our score so we can get the gold medal in this. This is this is one of the early missions that always has given me trouble with the gold medal.
And he's about ready to pop. Yeah, he's about ready to blow. There we go. So now we got this one left. This one's going to take a little bit. Come on, man, burn! Die! Why don't you die? Finally! Yeesh! They just don't seem to take a hint, do they? <laughs> You've routed them! Well, duh! Any more to say, Fletcher? Yes? No? Perfect! A joy to behold! Though, I probably, I think it's like 56,000 points for the gold medal. But either way, we beat it. I had to do one, uh, I think it was one just going back to the previous checkpoint. I want to avoid doing that in future episodes, but it's kind of inevitable, I think. I might have to do it at least once. But anyways, that was Ancient Research. The next one is The Long Descent, which will be our next episode. So, wow, it's almost a half hour of running that episode, or that, that uh, levels. Anyways, um... I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. Uh, I apologize if I'm not as talkative as I usually am in other games. Um, I probably have to adjust the volume in this a little bit. But anyways, I'm hoping you're enjoying it as much as I am and that you'll continue watching. Um, if you like this video, by all means, click the like button. If you didn't like this video, then click the dislike button. But at least leave a polite or you know, a polite but constructive criticism about why you didn't like this episode. Um, if you were bored, click the dislike, then the like. They'll cancel each other out. And it'll give you something to do besides picking your nose uh, or scratching your butt, which I've done at least once or twice during a video. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, if you feel that my videos are worthy, then by all means, please share them with your friends and, and fellow gamers on whatever social uh, networks you make use of. I would definitely appreciate the uh, the advertising. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> I'm not going to press the matter. Uh, please subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the episodes of this game, as well as keep up to date with the other games that I'm uh, recording and putting on YouTube, which would be Seven Days to Die, Imperion, Galactic Survival. Um, they're all good games. I have a lot of fun with them. I hope you have fun watching them as well as playing them yourself. Um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, this game is pretty damn cheap. And uh, I would definitely encourage you guys to possibly get your hands on a copy. It's a lot of fun and uh, very e easy on the computer requirements you know the software hardware requirements so there's that so anyways thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it and until next time see you later twitch twitch